Ten years ago, Silka Pan was a circus acrobat at the top of her profession. But a trapeze fall left her a paraplegic. Now she's walking again, thanks to this prototype exoskeleton known as TWICE. Uh, the first time I, I stood up with that exoskeleton was really uh, emotional for me. It was um, I, as if I were, were in a dream. Made by roboticists at Switzerland's EPFL, it weighs just 14 kilograms. Two electric motors on each leg allow flexion and extension of hip and knee joints. Battery powered, it allows users to walk, turn and climb steps by pressing buttons on their crutch handles. A full charge lasts three hours. It's very lightweight, but also very, very strong. So it's made with composite materials, but we can create in the shape we want very quickly and without the need of expensive tooling or expensive uh, investment at front end. A modular system, the exosuit could be adapted to different body shapes and pathologies. Having the ability to stand should help the disabled feel parity with the able-bodied, say researchers. Our objective is really to develop and to, to give the accessibility to exoskeletons to more people, to more pathologies, uh, to more needs. And this is why actually we are really targeting daily living activities. Silka Pan says twice could change lives. I hope that in a few years um, we people like me uh, will be able to, to choose between a wheelchair and an exoskeleton, maybe to have both and to live their daily life with it, to, to go shopping with it, to climb uh, stairs, to climb um, a ladder. Researchers want to improve the suit's ergonomics, but Silka says twice is already helping her to walk tall.